right so um, in this video I'm going to be going over uh, the calculator software I wrote um, and I'm just going to go over yeah like first of all like what my motivation was is that um, this is actually my first program that I've that I've written so um, I'm a math I just graduated with a bachelor's in mathematics and uh, from the University of Toronto and um, so I know a bit about calculators and stuff like that and um, so I was looking you know I use a Microsoft calculator sometimes and just like a you know traditional calculator it does have some of the scientific functions and all that um, one thing it's lacking is that is after you do a calculation um, what you, the cal the pre your previous calculations just uh, disappear so um, I decided to create a, my own calculator that will show um, the previous calculations. So, in my program, you could um, on the left side here, um, you could input uh, using the most, the most um, your calculations, and then, you know you have your cosine. Uh, right now, it's in a rating mode. Um, and you can also put into the degree mode. Uh, let's see, 180. Um, and then, yeah, so that you could do it like that. Um, and if you put in something like that, that too, uh, like if you just put in a bunch of multiplication signs or something like that, you know, it'll give you the error. Um, I also programmed in, like, if you want to divide something by zero, that's also not allowed. Um, I've got some of the arc sign functions. Um, yeah, another. This has just a standard memory features like any calculator. Um, and you can clear that memory. Put in some more memory. Um, you know, you could also add to the memory. So uh, if you, you recall that memory, so if you did that, and then you want to add, say, two hundred two thousand five hundred fifty-five, you just add that, and then then I guess it's, it's hard to tell I was a big number but anyways it just add those that uh, amount to that um, you also have exponential functions um, and on this side I have a scroll bar so um, so yeah you can use the most for that you I also program it so you could just use uh, right now I'm just typing in with the keyboard between just some random calculations Use it to do the functions. Um, or let's try sign. And yeah, you could also use a, the calc. Uh, I mean, the keyboard to scroll down, scroll up. Um, also, a scroll wheel. Right now, I'm using that on the mouse. Or you could just click the scroll bar and go up and down and review. Uh, your past calculations. So this mode is called the calculation history mode. Um, I have a secondary mode. You can press tab or you just click on this button and it'll take you into the, these functions which you could scroll using the scroll wheel or just click on this uh, function browsing uh, buttons. Uh, same thing with these constants. So um, you could manually input these constants you could press them and this is the factorial function so factorial four will give you that's same thing as one times two times three times four oh, one times two times three times four um, and yeah it also will appear here in the calculator history um, absolute value is same as you know the Python one or whatever it's pretty standard um, and constants here, you can put that in like C, for example, speed of light in a vacuum, meters per second. Um, you know, these other physical content, constants, um, put it in, or G. And you could put these into these calculations, so like G times uh, whatever, um, Planck's constant, um, pi. Um, so, cos 2 times. Um, yeah, so that's you know basically just to the program. Um, some of the interesting parts in making this was so I have um, 
there's you know there's five uh, slots here and then there this scroll bar is, uh, has continuous motion like it's not discrete motion so um, I had to translate this continuous motion into the discrete motion of uh, the, the slots here changing um, so that was kind of interesting um, and yeah other than that you know it's pretty straightforward um, this was designed using P uh, first of all, I wrote this in Python. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the code. Um, and this was used in particular using PY game, the PY game module. And f I used the Python version 3.2 and the corresponding PY game uh, version. So these are this is the list of uh, the different. Uh, Modules, different Python files I use for this. So, just uh, going quickly go through some. This is just some of the constants and stuff. So the the basic classes. So like I defined um, to use to make these to make this work. Um, and since this was my first program, I, um, you know I didn't do it in the most efficient way. This is uh, the most functions. Uh, this is what happens when you press down the most and then uh, text formatting. So this is how uh, when you input the text, um, this is how it um, responds and like how it'll like filter out like, you know, stuff that's like syntax errors or value errors or that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, like I was saying when I was writing this program, it I could have wrote it in a better way. Like I, there's probably a lot more code than is actually necessary, but uh, you know, I'm just learning. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. My next uh, project is right now. I'm wearing the Android Studio and I'm learning how to make apps. And um, yeah, so yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any, you know, comments or questions or suggestions. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. Alright, have a nice day. See ya. Thanks for uh, watching.